All right, so today I'm going to be walking through the process on how to adjust ignition timing on one of these little two strokes. So basically, here's like a quick rundown of what you're going to need for this process. It's pretty damn simple, but we have ourselves a hand drill here with a five mil bit. Okay, we have some, this is optional by the way, some like medium strength red locker. This is really going to help keep the magneto bolts in because what you're doing basically, we're going to get into it in a sec. We're going to be drilling the holes bigger on the magneto. So it's recommended that those obviously don't back out. So use some of this. We have a caliper, again, um, to perfectly measure your drill bit because it has to be five millimeters in order to get the correct adjustment. And you can use a feeler gauge if you want for spacing the uh, magnet and the magneto after the fact, or you can use pieces of paper like fold on top of each other. Regardless, just make sure that's even. The engine in question is the still MS440 hybrid. Basically what this mod is going to achieve is it's gonna pull timing at a higher RPM and allow the engine not to have too much timing to where it could pre-detonate. So I'm gonna remove this cover. Whenever you remove one of these covers, it's always a good idea to run your finger along the edge. And if there's any like amount of oil, you know you have a crank seal leak. But in this case, we're all good. So I'm gonna remove this. A little tip is to use a flathead beforehand because these are like Phillips and they'll strip out easily. So do it like that and then switch to the Phillips. So now we're gonna pull this off. Little tip here is feed one through beforehand and then you can feed the other one through. If you try to do both at once, it'll get stuck. And there you go. Something to remember when you go ahead and reinstall the Magneto you see, when you do the keyway mod, as most of you know, you turn it counterclockwise to retard the timing. But where we're doing the magneto itself, the opposite part of it, you're actually going to want to put it clockwise. So this is a very important step. If you do it the other way, you actually might increase it too much, and that wouldn't be good for obvious reasons. We're just going to verify. So it's like 5 millimeter, a little over. But when you're drilling this, you see it's got like a little bit of play, right? So what I like to do is flip it like this, so it has a little bit more rigidity to it, and you're just going to drill the holes. So there you have it. We got our four holes drilled, and let's get it back on the bike. A good practice to get into is these magnetos, they usually come with a little bit of varnish on the back side. So sand that off will improve the ground. So here's our magneto. It's all sanded on the back, got our holes drilled out. So now we're gonna feed the wires through. So like I said, one at a time here. Okay. These can be a little bit stubborn at times, but there you go. So once you get it through, and you can reinstall the magneto. Plop it into place. So then now you can put our screws in. Now they can be a little bit tougher to get lined up in because now those holes are bigger. So you have to shift it around and kind of play with it a little. So I'm going to be using some paper. I would use the feeler gauges, but not everybody has them. So what you do is fold it like that, fold it again, and then one more time. And for me, that works great. Repeat it on this one here. like that and then you're gonna shove it in between the the gap here just like that so here's our stock position and this is where it's gonna be it doesn't seem like a big of a change but with ignition timing a little can go a long way so I'm gonna tighten up those screws and we'll uh, probably start it up and Make sure that still idles good. I The other one, I did the ignition timing mod too, 
and it didn't affect the idle at all but it's always good to double check because basically when you retired your ignition timing in theory it's supposed to make it idle a little bit slower so you might have to turn it in like the idle screw but besides that you're not going to have to tune the carburetor So I got it exactly where I want it. So now I'm gonna use my flathead and tighten up these four screws. And that's that's literally the end of the process. Just plug your wires back in and the bike's ready to run. You can hear that saw in the background. <laughs> now here's another thing that I should probably talk about. And that's doing this at your own risk. If you, well, not necessarily doing it at your own risk. This isn't a very high risk mod. But the fact that this is really only good for anything that one, has a larger piston in it than stock, or two, has a, you know, a higher RPM limit. Because if you put this on like a 6,000, like this exact Magneto, on a stock China doll that only revs to 66, 6,700 RPM, you're not going to get any benefits from it. Because the stock timing is totally adequate for what that's doing. When you add a chainsaw cylinder, when you add a Minarelli cylinder, or you port your China cylinder, you're going to have to do this mod. Well, I shouldn't say you, you have to, but it's going to make your engine have a longer lifespan because you have less timing at higher PM. It, it decreases the chances of the spark plug igniting before the, the piston gets to the top of the cylinder and it just makes things a lot safer of a tune. And that just, in result, will have a longer engine life. Another thing you can do for pre-detonation is running a colder plug. So you go from like a B6HS to a B7 or B8. B8 is like really only on Minarelli's. I mean, you can put them in saws too, but I've had really good experiences with the B7HS. It makes the cylinder temps just where I want them, but it's not too cold to where I have to adjust the carburetor a lot because You'll find when you run a super cold plug, you'll have to run a little bit leaner because it simply can't burn all the fuel. So keep that in mind when you're tuning. But that looks pretty good, so let's put the cover back on. So I know you guys are going to be asking in the comments. You want to hear this thing go, so let's go start her up. Huh? 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 